occurring in up to 5-10% to of the population in the United States, restless leg syndrome is known as one of the most common sleep disorders in the world. It is characterized by an irresistible urge to move the legs during rest and causes significant sleep disruption. Due to subjective screening methods, RLS is often misdiagnosed in children, leaving this already vulnerable population exposed to medication which can be extremely detrimental to their health and development. To mitigate this issue, a UBC Engineering Capstone Group worked in partnership with BC Children's Hospital to develop a more reliable and objective screening tool. Our goal is to utilize electromyography signals to measure the electrical activity in the leg muscles to improve the quality of sleep in pediatric patients. The proposed solution is a wireless electromyography system, also known as EMG, which consists of both a hardware and software component. The hardware is enclosed in a band which can be easily strapped onto a child's leg. We were very intentional in selecting a band design that would be as friendly and as least intimidating as possible. The hardware features the Bitolino platform, which is a developmental board designed specifically for acquiring physiological signals. The software consists of an Android application which communicates with the hardware via Bluetooth. The application is designed to display the EMG signals from the Bitolino and provide accurate data for observation. Uh, the project is unique as an EMG sensor because it's portable, it works with smartphones, and you don't need a referral to a sleep lab. So um, it's good for use with challenging patients, especially children, um, for a very accessible and easy assessment. This, this project adds tremendous value because it helps to do better and more comprehensive assessments of particularly vulnerable patients who might not be able to express the discomfort they feel the team is very proud that the project will help pave the way for future applications of EMG as a diagnostic methodology for RLS.